A warm welcome to the History Show here on Uxbridge FM. And we welcome back local historian and chairman of the Uxbridge Local Historical Society, Ken Pierce. Good morning, Ken. How are you? Oh, I'm well, thank you. Good morning, everybody. And we're hearing about lords, monks and bishops. This is part one. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Bishop's Hall School in Royal Lane, Hillingdon, occupies the site of considerable historic interest. People have been living there for over a thousand years, and the Victorian house, which is the main feature of the building today, is probably the fourth house to stand on that site. Our story begins in Saxon times, when the country was divided into districts called manors and one of them was the fairly small manor of Hillingdon, ruled over, of course, by a lord of the manor who lived in the manor house. And Bishop's Salt is where that manor house stood. And the evidence points to the fact that the lord of manor gave a corner of his land on which to build a church. The names of these Saxon lords are not known, with the exception of the last one, who was called Ulf, U-L-F, and he's recorded in the Doomsday Book. This survey of the country was ordered by William the Conqueror and appeared in 1086. And after his victory, of course, William rewarded those who had fought with him by granting them lands. And so he gave the manor of Hillingdon to Roger de Montgomery, his cousin. Ulf was quietly removed. But it's probable that Roger never came anywhere near Hillingdon since he was allotted extensive lands up and down the country. He was created Earl of Arundel and Earl of Shrewsbury. Locally, he was given the manors of Colham, Dawley, Ickenham, Harlington and Harmonsworth. The doomsday entry for Hillingdon mentions two Frenchmen living there. Had they been sent in, I wonder, to manage Roger's estate? After Roger's death, Hillingdon Manor passed to Miles Crispin, who lived in a castle at Wallingford, and it seems unlikely then that he visited the area at all. Crispin died in 1107, leaving a widow called Matilda. At that time, a young man named Brian Fitzcount was living in the court of King Henry I, and the king saw a way of providing for this young man. So he was married to the widow Matilda, and Brian Fitzcount became the next lord of the manor of Hillingdon but not for long. Ryan and his wife Matilda seem to have been very devout people, and uh, they owed, owned the great estate at Wallingford. They decided to give the Hillingdon property to the Abbey of Evesham in Worcestershire. Why they chose Evesham is not really known. But a charter in the Abbey archives, dated about 1115, contains this statement from Brian. You should know that I have given and bequeathed the church at Hillingdon to St. Mary of Evesham, and a third of the tithes of my estate, together with one hide of land, and a manor house, with all that appertaineth thereto in the neighbourhood of Woxbrigg. W O X B R I G, uh, the spelling of Uxbridge. So the Hillingdon Manor House and St John's Church now became part of the lands of Evesham Abbey. And in the period that followed, the monks from Evesham arrived to occupy the former manor house and estate. Black robed Benedictine monks now lived here ran the services in the church, and it was an arrangement that lasted for over 160 years. At the start of the 13th century, a dispute opened up in Worcestershire between those monks of Evesham 
and the Bishop of Worcester. The monks had always had oversight of the churches in the Vale of Evesham, but now the bishop was claiming that he should be in charge of those churches. The matter dragged on for years without a solution. The argument was revived by Bishop William de Cantaloupe about 1270, who asked the Archbishop of Canterbury to decide the matter. The Archbishop instead asked the Pope in Rome to decide. But the Pope delegated to this, this decision to the Bishop of Oporto in Portugal. So, amazingly, it came about that a Portuguese bishop determined the future history of Hillingdon Village. The documents on this dispute, by the way, are to be found in what's called the Calendar of Papal Letters in the National Archives. The Portuguese bishop's ruling was that the monks of Evesham should retain control of the churches in the Vale of Evesham, but should hand, hand over their lands elsewhere in the kingdom to the bishop. The matter was finally settled in the year 1281, and from then the Hillingdon estate became the property of the bishops of Worcester. So, lords of the manor, then Benedictine monks, and now bishops. I hope to continue the story next time. Wow, that's intriguing. <laughs> we look forward to part two next time. Tension mounts. <laughs> Thanks, Ken, and we'll join you again shortly for more talks.